from today I can easily say that the fall is here the temperatures dropped a lot really a lot so now it's time to try for some zander I think that I have about an hour of daylight that I'm planning to fish for the asp but after that about two hours more or less to fish for the zander let's say that my hopes are quite high because the conditions seems to be just perfect the water level the temperatures the water color oh. <laughs> so yeah you can easily see that i am really really excited for today now i have to find my way to try for some ass and yeah as i already said my hopes are quite high now i will just put the camera on and let's see ha. I think that this is the way but I'm not that sure I'm in kind of a hurry because I don't have that much time during the daylight and I have to admit that I would like to catch an asp yeah the water it's looking just perfect let's see now I will just have to find a, a spot from where I can fish yeah this here seems to be just great Whew. the spot it's looking really really good and my hopes are extremely extremely high i just want to have my net prepared because i hope to catch some asp and now let's see the water it's quite clear so i will just start with some natural colors in this case i will go with this sinking stick bait on one road and on the other one i will just go with this lipless crankbait and let's see <laughs> as always the first cast it's always full of holes the water it's looking just great and then the conditions seems to be just perfect for some asp but especially for some zander one hour for the asp
Yeah. Oh, and that's a good asp. It looks like, again, the pink color. It's the right one. Oh, that's a nice asp. Come on here, buddy. It's not hooked very well. And whoa, <laughs> yes. Oh, I will just make a quick picture. Yeah, that's already a good asp. Whew, that was nice. Oh, are you ready, buddy? Here we go. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I think that this over here, it's already the fifth or the sixth lure that I'm trying. I have tried with some natural colors. I have tried with some yellow. I had a guy following my lure to my feet and uh, immediately after that I just Come on, I just decided to try with something a little bit different. So I went with this pink color over here and it looks like that was a good idea. Now I will insist a little bit more with this guy over here and who knows, hopefully some more asp. Will come. Oh, <laughs> that was close. This one was quite a good asp. It hit my lure in a very strange way. Come on, not now. But still, that was quite a quite a good strike. Now I think that I have about 40, perhaps 45 minutes left for fishing for the asp. So my expectations and my hopes are quite high to catch a second one or at least a second one let's insist i will insist a little bit more with this color now oh <laughs> this is a small guy Yeah, you are small. Just chill. These small guys are extremely, extremely dangerous because they are moving like crazy. Come on. And usually the safer thing for you is to just use the pliers. Now I'm in kind of hurry. Thank you. I'm in kind of hurry, so I just went without any pliers i still have 10 minutes left perhaps 15 so let's see there isn't much daytime left so this here will be my last cast i want to reach the zander spot while it's still daylight because i want to test a bunch of lures that i made for the zander so for me it's really important to have at least five perhaps ten minutes of daylight before starting to fish for the zander it was already good enough that i caught uh, those two asp the first one was a really good asp so for me that's just perfect now i will just pack all my stuff and uh, go for the zander spot and here it is, the Zander spot. The spot should be quite okay in this period, considering the water level and the water color. So I have to say that my ex expectations are quite high. I can see some other people fishing here so <laughs> that's not good let's say that i still have my hopes quite high even though i'm not that sure anymore the spot is looking really good so yeah 
it should be quite okay. I just want to have my net ready. I'll just put it here. And now let's go for the first cast. I'm not even sure how to start. I think that I will just make a few casts with this lure over here just to check if there is no active zander in this area and after that I will see I will just leave my net here and I will try to fish from here let's see the first cast for today in this spot it's still quite early for the zander but you never know I can't see any mullet so I'm not that sure about this I will just try to change a bunch of lures and let's hope okay now I just want to test the lures that I'm planning to use for the tender. I just wanted some lure that will be big enough to get noticed by some zander that it's in this area. I wanted a floating lure and I also wanted, yeah it's floating, I wanted to move, yeah that should work, immediately when I start retrieving. That thing looks quite okay. Yeah. Huh. Now I have some hopes to catch a zander with one of these lures after dark. I'm not expecting anything right now that it's still daylight because the lure is quite shallow and usually the zander is not hunting that shallow during the day but oh that thing moves good now i want to try the pink one hopefully we'll do the same thing as this one so let's give it a try yeah it's floating and i'm expecting to perform exactly like the other one Yeah, that's good. I can feel that it's already moving. I'm retrieving quite, quite slow my lure and yeah, I don't think that it's more than 30 centimeters in the water, something like this. That should work and should be really okay for the zander during the night. When they come in the shallow, yeah, that thing is moving good. When they are coming to the shallow water to try to eat, <laughs> to catch some, some prey fish. That's nice. Now I will just change to some sinking lure that will run a little bit deeper, but when it will get dark, this lure will be perhaps the first one that I will put on. Now I'm not very sure what to fish. Okay, I will just try a few more casts with the same countdown in orange color. In the past was okay for the zander. It's slow sinking, so it's kind of windy. It's quite cold, <laughs> much colder than I was expecting it to be. Oh, 
that was the first hit and that was a dander no. ha. I missed it I have this big belly on my line because of its wind and I missed that hit was a small zander but <laughs> would have been nice yeah uh. here we go not the best thing to lift it from the road especially the broken one but the net wasn't very close to me so I didn't have any choice that's a nice end I would just set him free here I won't make any picture but thanks a lot buddy <laughs> that's nice here we go <laughs> yeah I'm not sure if this guy is bigger but at least feels a little bit bigger no it's not yeah perhaps yeah, just a little bit big. <laughs> but this is really nice. Really glad to have this. I think that I've been fishing for almost two hours after that first dander without getting any bite. And now, okay, already unhooked yourself, so that's perfect. I will just release this guy. Here we go. Whew. Are you ready? <laughs> Come on. Thank you. I think that I fished for about 20, perhaps 25 minutes after catching the second zander and uh, haven't got any single bite. Now it's getting really, really cold. It's raining. My hands are frozen already. So I will just end here this uh, session. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye.